Hey everybody, it's me, Miss Vicki. Welcome back to another episode of Spontaneous Creations Stay at Home Challenge. I have another challenge for you today. It's challenge number nine. I'm gonna call this challenge a gratitude poster. That's right. Today, we're gonna be creating posters that thank people around us for something that we really appreciate. This past weekend, I was feeling really grateful for all the first responders and essential workers who are out there still doing their work while we're at home and helping to keep our communities running and keeping them safe. And so I created a poster. Now, I happen to make mine on a canvas. So what you might need for this activity is either a canvas or a large piece of white paper. Paints, I used acrylic paint, but you don't have to use acrylic paint. Use whatever paint you have at home and some paintbrushes, okay? And then you might need some cups, um, one filled with water and then the rest filled with, you know, to mix your paints in. And I happen to use old Greek yogurt containers and they, those work really great for mixing acrylic paints. If you don't have those items, don't worry. You can still be grateful and thankful and create a poster with any markers and a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be big, it could be small. Or you could go out on a sunny day and use some chalk and make a gratitude um, chalk design on your on your front stoop. So you might be wondering, what does gratitude mean anyways? It's being thankful and appreciating someone. You know, gratitude, it comes from the Latin word that means gratis, which means thankful or pleasing. So when you feel gratitude, and you're pleased by what someone has done from you, and then you maybe want to show appreciation in return. And so what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? Are you grateful that um, for someone in your family because they are feeding you every day and taking care of you, then you can make them a gratitude poster or a gratitude card or a thank you card, okay? Um, here's my gratitude poster, and I'm going to show you how I painted it, not how I sketched it up, but how I painted it, and I'll have that at the end of my clip. But basically, all you have to do is write thank you at the top, or um, gratitude at the top, and then just draw some beautiful pictures, however you can, that of what you're grateful for. Maybe you're grateful that the sun comes out every day, and maybe you draw a picture of the sun. Maybe you're grateful for your little brother or sister because you have somebody to play with every day. Imagine if you didn't, you might feel a little more lonely. So I'm grateful for my groceries and the attendant who, him, who handles them every day. I'm grateful for my mail person who comes and delivers my mail daily. So I'm grateful for my cousin and my friends who are still working at supermarkets. Even though I'm at home, they're still working and serving people every day. And the male people out there, I'm also grateful for my local police, my MBTA drivers, my uh, truck drivers that are on the routes. I'm, I'm also grateful for our fire people that are out there. Uh, there's so many people I'm grateful for. I just happen to make a sign that fit four different people, but I could make probably 10 signs and maybe I will eventually. So how I did my gratitude poster was I, I wrote in pencil first, thank you. And I mapped out where my drawings were gonna be in pencil. That way you can erase it. You can go by, you can make multiple lines. And then after that, I like to take a thin um, paintbrush and I like to trace over the lines that I like, that I do the best. And I trace those over with a black thin painting. So you'll see me do that. And then I love to think about a color palette. And so my main color that I wanted to showcase was yellow and blue. So what I wanted to showcase was um, a couple of things. I wanted to be grateful for all of the essential workers. This only shows four of them, but um, I also wanted to have yellow and blue stand out. So there's yellow and blue in each of my drawings. And I don't know if you can see this, but each face has a golden tone to it. There's no eyes. I've decided the eyes and the facial features weren't what was going to stand out. It was the jobs and the people behind the jobs and their faces are golden because their hearts are golden during this time to me um, for working so hard and I'm so grateful. So thank you essential workers. Thank you all of you who are tuning in and watching. I'm grateful. I hope this inspires you to make your own gratitude painting. Okay and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye!